Hello there, this is Tim Skinner from telecoms.com. I'm here at AfricaCom 2016 and today I'm speaking with David King, who's the CEO of Flex Enclosure. Hello, David. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. So, thanks very much for joining us today. Uh, why don't we start by you telling us a little bit about your company, Flex Enclosure. Certainly, yeah. So, Flex Enclosure, a Swedish company. Uh, we're in the high-tech field. Um, we produce green energy products for Africa and other emerging markets. Um, the tagline we use, we talk about, we provide sustainable internet infrastructure for Africa. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we have um, two main products, uh, the eSite, it's a hybrid power system, and the eCenter, it's a prefabricated data center. Mm -hmm. So presumably at AfricaCom this week you are discussing both of these products. Uh, what, what, what have you been, what's your key messaging for this week? Yeah, we're here talking about both. Uh, both are highly relevant to the African geography. Mm -hmm. um, our, our primary uh, message this week is about the launch of the new eSight. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a new version of the eSight called the eSight X10. Mm -hmm. uh, the X10 is launched here this week. Um, it's special in that it is the world's first hybrid power system um, built from the ground up uh, for outdoor telecom sites to outdoor standards. Okay. Brilliant. And that's uh, a topic that's very close to the heart of the, the African market, is uh, sort of sustainable, renewable energy. Um, how, how does this sort of fit in with that then, uh, both of these products? Yeah, so uh, let's start with eSight. So um, eSight is um, it's a product used by uh, tower companies and mobile network operators that have got base stations in geographies where the, the grid is either non-existent or poor. Uh -huh. um, you know, their, uh, their alternative without a hybrid system is to run the site on generators, burning a lot of diesel at, at cost and, and trouble effectively. Of um, the hybrid system uh, allows them to harvest power from the sun, uh, from a generator, from the grid if there is some, store that in batteries and, and run the site from the batteries. So much more cost efficient way of doing it. Of course. Um, the challenge has been in the past is that you know, many of these pieces of equipment, many hybrid systems, uh, have not really served the, the, the course of time. Over time they degrade, um, they're cabinets with components in that can be, get tampered with or go wrong. Yeah. So what we've done is we have built a completely sealed unit. Uh, it is tamper free, mm -hmm. uh, it is you know, highly water resistant, um, it's got no moving parts, right. no fans, no filters, um, it's completely maintenance free, mm -hmm. um, it's convection cooled. So they can take our hybrid power system, the eSight X10, mm -hmm. put it onto their base station site, uh, leave it there and uh, and it will manage the power for them. Oh brilliant, so presumably sort of a, a durable product that can last and last and last. Is exactly, so it's a you know it's a highly resilient product that you know it, it, it won't break down, uh -huh. uh, it'll save more money, it's easy to install, easy to manage, really you know, fit for purpose in the African market. Brilliant. Now we were just speaking before we uh, came on air about your other product range which is the e-center mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, that's, that was sounding really novel to me so can you just explain that for the yeah, well, so the e-center you know, still under this umbrella of sustainable internet infrastructure for Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, the e-center is a prefabricated data center. So you know, one of the big challenges you know, in almost any um, you know geography is is building. You know, building is always an unpredictable world. Sure. And I, I jokingly say you know you know even where I'm living in Sweden, getting something built you know can be a, an unpredictable experience. Yeah. But of course you know putting a data center into somewhere like Chad. Angola, you know, the problems just multiply. Yeah. So what we've developed is a prefabricated concept for data centers. We, um, um, you know, we, we take in large modules of steel, we put into them, you know, raised floors, cabling, power, cooling, uh, fire suppressants, management systems, everything that is required to create a data center. Yeah. We ship the modules uh, out to, you know, wherever, and we put data centers into, you know, Ivory Coast, um, uh, Sierra Leone, uh, you know, Chad, Angola, Mozambique, Tanzania, okay. and we, yeah. you know, we hook the modules together. Anything from you know, 50 square meters to a thousand square meters, can right. be, you know, hooked up, um, and we leave behind an immaculate, you know, first world facility, ready for either telecom facilities or um, you know, co-location businesses, guys who are renting rack space. Mm -hmm. um, what we're trying to do with all of this, of course, is provide the infrastructure that you know supports the data wave in Africa. Mm -hmm. 
Brilliant. And now, just finally, just a quick word about AfricaCon. We're here this week in Cape Town. What brings you guys to the show? What do you like about the show? Um, you know, I always like coming here. It's a, it's a high energy event. You know, there's, a, there's a lot uh, you know, going on here. I think you know, we as a company, um, you know, we are big believers in uh, sub-Saharan Africa as a, you know, as a, just a region of uh, development and opportunity. Um, so you know, we're always going to come here. We're going to come here every year. Um, the, the audience is, is extremely relevant to us. Um, and this week is a particularly exciting week because of the, the launch of the new product. Sure. Excellent. Well, thanks very much indeed for joining us today. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye.